Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here. Uh, and so for today's video, I just wanted to make a quick video to show off the new McFarlane Toys Red Hood uh, next to some other Red Hoods. And just do a little comparison vid video. This should just be a quick video showing the new Red Hood against the other Red Hoods. Um, so first of all, thank you to the folks at McFarland Toys for sending me the Red Hood uh, for review. The Red Hood came along with a, a New 52 Nightwing, which I'll make a separate video about. And uh, this should be, this is available for pre-order, if I'm not mistaken, on Amazon. Hopefully that's an accurate statement. Um, as far as when it's going to be, re be released, I'm not sure, honestly. Um, it's already hitting overseas, so I think it should be available within the next few months. Um, but don't quote me on that, but I, it should. I mean, if they're already getting it overseas, we should be start seeing it here. Um, and as, as of this video, a lot of people are starting to get their Amazon pre-orders of like the Hawkman, Batman, um, Infected Superman, and the Robin. Uh, what are those Robins called? The little demonic looking Robin guys. Uh, so those are hitting. So it'll be along shortly. All right, so here he is. And what we have him next to well, if I got blurry really fast, is the Mattel Red Hood over the all the way to the left, which is in a six-inch state scale. Then we have them next to the uh, DC Direct DC Essentials Red Hood, which is one of my favorite Red Hood figures. I mean, that, not that many, but it's one of my favorites. Then right in the center, we have the beautiful McFarland Toys Red Hood, which was just released. And then over to the right is the Red Hood the new 52 Red Hood from DC Collectibles. Um, and I might have, did I say this was on the left? Mattel one? It's, yeah, it's on the left. All right. Um, anyway, so how does he compare next to these other Red Hood figures? So he's definitely moved up for me to be my favorite Red Hood already. Um, just because it's a really beautifully designed and um, sculpted figure. I love how it is kind of a perfect blend between a non-specific version of Red Hood. It's a very sort of, I'd say, you know, traditional Red Hood figure, obviously based on the, the New 52 uh, current outfit. Sorry, the figures fell. I was having too much luck with the figures not falling, so let me just stand those guys up. But I, it's just a great comic book look, while not being specific to one specific comic book, if that makes sense. So it's just an awesome look. You know, whereas the DC Essentials one, which was my you know, probably my second favorite, or still my second favorite, is a very, it's a great figure, but it's definitely just sort of an essential version of the Red Hood, which is the whole point of the DC Essentials line. But I, I just like how the new McFarlane one has some kind of swagger to it. I just love how you can, he's got like a thinner waist. It's just a really des awesomely designed figure. Um, and you can make some really cool poses with him like I'm just doing right now. And he's got that pop collar right there. I mean, come on, you gotta love the pop collar. So it's just a really cool Red Hood figure. So he's definitely my favorite Red Hood figure. I also do love this New 52 um, Red Hood figure as well. Oops, she's about to topple. But um, the, I like it because it's very specific to Kenneth Rowcraft's artwork from Red Hood and the Outlaws. I love the detailing of the armor, so it's still a very beautiful Red Hood figure. Um, and this is very comic book accurate to that uh, story. Um, the only thing is it's a little small now for your the 7 inch scaling. So um, yeah, he's still one of my favorites though. I mean, yeah, I guess they're all my favorites. The Mattel one, I respect the Mattel one, I, I like what they were trying to do here. But it's definitely, the you know, it's a smaller scale, which is it's a 6, six inch scale. But I'm always, I've always been a fan of 7-inch figures, so um, yeah, it's just okay. The guns, for whatever reason, you can't remove them from the holsters, which was a bummer, still is a bummer. I do like the, the hood. It's, I, the other ones all have sort of, um, or, well, the Essentials and the McFarlane one have a metallic -y hood, which I love. But I sort of like this uh, matte, glossy one as well. And then this guy, the nice thing about this figure is he actually came with a Jason Todd head, which you can see there, which is a really beautifully sculpted 
that Jason Todd had. So I give Mattel a lot of props for that. I still have a lot of affection for this Mattel figure. It was a six inch line. It's one of their last figures they made. I'm really glad we got it. Um, and yeah, it's a fine figure. But yeah, the gun's not being able to be removed from the holster. Not that much detailing on the costume. Definitely moves it down a couple of points. Oops, sorry. Um, so there you go. Um, there's definitely more redhead figures. I chose these ones to compare him to because it's in the same styling as the McFarlane one. Uh, the other red, fig red hood figures I have, um, I have the Arkham Origins or Arkham Knight, Arkham, Arkham Knight version from DC Direct, which is an awesome red hood figure. It's definitely more of a militaristic costume, so it doesn't look like this at all. And then there is another Mattel version of the Red Hood, which is from the Batman and Robin comic book, where he's wearing a very comic booky supervillain costume. So that's why I chose to compare him with these figures. Um, but yeah, so you know, McFarlane obviously did it again. These are it's a great figure. I think it's definitely the best Red Hood figure with a specific look that we have out there. Um, so I, I really can't recommend him enough. So there he is. Uh, so that is it, guys. Just a quick little video comparing him to some other Red Hood figures. Um, please let me know if there's other figures that you would like him to be compared to. Or um, if you have any other questions or comments. Uh, thank you so much for your time and have a great day.